One of the distinguishing features of the Van Damme Academy science curriculum is the principle of hierarchy. And what that means, in essence, is that ideas are taught in an order in which they can be thoroughly and independently understood by the students. Now, it might seem obvious that we should teach it that way, but that's not the way I learned science. In my science education, and probably in yours, typically in, let's say, fourth grade, you open your textbook, and there on the first page is the model of an atom. And you're asked to memorize the parts of an atom, the nucleus, protons, electrons, and so on. Now, what does that really mean to a fourth grader? A fourth grader has never encountered an atom, has not followed the long historical chain of, in, of reasoning and inductions that led to an understanding of the existence of atoms. So really, it's just something out of the blue that they're asked to memorize and have no real understanding of or experience with. Similarly, when I learned Newton's laws, how were they taught to me? Were they taught as a consequence of a long process of discovery from the Greeks all the way through Newton's day that gave rise to these basic principles that govern the physical world? No. They were put on the board, they were associated with certain formulas, and I was asked to churn out equations um, based on these three principles and to memorize the formulation of the principles. So again, in, typically science is taught as bolts from the blue with no context, with no history, and you're asked simply to memorize it rather than really, really deeply understand what's going on. So here, uh, we teach science in a way that the kids understand it, they can apply it, they can use it, they know what it means. So in an ideal science curriculum, once they've learned that science, they should go out in, into the world and the world should make more sense to them because of the things they've learned in science class. That's the goal of science, is to give order and intelligibility to the physical world. So, for example, Mr. Krieger, our science teacher, a couple years ago in our, in our uh, life science year, took the kids on a nature walk in our uh, community and exposed them to and taught them about the native plants and animals in our area. So thereafter, when my kids and I went outside for quite a while, anytime we saw a palm tree, they had to tell me, was this a fan palm or a feather palm? based on what they had learned in science class. So that was exciting and empowering to them. They learned something that when they went out into the world, they now were empowered with this knowledge that allowed them to identify something. Um, similarly, when they learned about simple machines in, um, in the physical science year, they learned how simple machines magnify force and what were the different types of simple machines. And then when they'd go out into the world, they'd start noticing simple machines everywhere trash cans with the lift up lids, tweezers, um, uh, scissors. They would find these, these uses for simple machines everywhere in their everyday life and they would understand how the design of them magnified force and made the work easier for them. Um, <clears throat> my daughter was telling me that after they learned about the muscular system in, um, in the life science year, when she goes to gymnastics and she's asked to do certain exercises, she said she knows what muscles are involved and how they're being used because of what she learned in her life science class. So again, that's the goal and that's the ideal, is that they learn things in class, they go out into the world and they feel empowered to explain the things that they see and experience um, because they understand these basic principles of science.